had some exciting new updates in command. Are you ready for them? We're going to talk about it today. So let's go. It's your favorite tech trainer, Bren Brewer, and I have an update for you today, and you are going to love this. And yes, you can see I'm in Command Designs, and we're going to start by creating a new email design template. Yep, the template design editor has gotten a makeover, and I'm going to show you right now. First look. So let's go. We're going to actually go into command first. We're going to click on designs and then we're going to click on create design and then we're going to click on email and click next. You have all these templates here, but we're going to click on create new template and you can see now there are all these layout options as well as content widgets. You have layout options. So I have found this to be super easy to use. See our three columns, then maybe we want a divider and it's going to ask you what your height, your width, your line color, things like that. And then maybe you just want two columns and another divider and it's going to ask me my colors and then maybe two more columns, another divider, and then three columns. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating just a little newsletter for my business. And if I only wanted this to be one column, let me delete let me just delete and now it's one column. I could also just go ahead and drag in the one column here and then I would have two one columns. Now in that column I can come down to my widgets and then I'm just going to put an image here and I already have an image uploaded. I'm going to use that one and click save. So that's going to be my logo. And then here I'm going to click this arrow. It looks fine. Then I'm going to click here and I might put maybe a, ooh, I gotta put my legal footer in here. Let me put that in here. That's gonna go at the bottom. And then I might put a little video here and maybe even some text on this side. And let's see, what else do I want? Maybe a market snap here. And then, ooh, I changed it to one column. There wasn't room. Let me delete that. I don't want that there. I'm going to come back up here and add a one column here at the bottom and put my neighborhood snap in that. You can also change your background as well. Color, you can do an image if you want to. Let's let's change the background to red. And you can see there's my red background. I don't really like red. I'm just going to put it back to white. See blocks. I'm going to go back to my content here. So I've got a video. I've got text. I might want to put a listing block in here. And it looks like that's too big. So maybe that's a one column place. So let's just change that to one column. We'll go put a listing block. I like that. I like that a lot. Or you can just add the listing here and you can see here's the, the image. Uh, the image will go here so let's click replace and let's click that one. Let's click on that one. It pulled it in and click select and then let's click done. Looks like it's not adding the image for some reason. Not sure what that's about. Let me go back to my video. Let's replace the thumbnail. You can see there's my thumbnail and if I want to write text I can do that. Okay so I put my text in here. I really like this. Let me highlight this and make it centered. Let me highlight this and make it centered and I can make that one centered too. And I'm done with that. I got my listing widget in here. I don't really want any of these columns anymore. I'm going to keep that divider. I'm going to take that out and delete that. Okay, so now I have my newsletter. Just got everything in here. I can click the eyeball and this is what my newsletter will look like. It's going to pull in my video when I put the URL in. So I forgot to do that. I only added a thumbnail. So let me go find my video. Let's put that in there. And then now we should have a video here. So let's look again. I cannot click on the preview, but yes, you can see everything looks good here. I really like that. And if you want to add more columns and things of that nature, you can. You can add any of these widgets. If you wanted a legal header, you could put that in there as well. And let's look what that looks like. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Love it. I don't like how squishy that is. I may take that out. Let's just take it out. All right. That looks looks a little better. That is just a quick and easy way to make your layouts in command. You can see you can do one column, two column, three columns, three to the seven columns, and you can use dividers. They have created a new experience in designs and it is very easy to make this. And then don't forget to name your template so you can come back to it and use it. 
make sure you click save and close when you're done. And now you see I have my newsletter here that I can use. Click my three dots. I can download it or I can rename it or I can make a copy. Let me know in the comments below what you're going to create in command. I can't wait to see your designs. See you next week.